Aaron or Aaron 2. I don't know how the fuck you pronounce it. Um, 240 Microsoft points with so three bucks. Aaron Aaron 2 has a number one to it, which I played as well. I don't know if you did, Troy. Uh, no, um, I did not get the time to actually play any of it. Yeah, uh, well, I'll, 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 I'll start with number one. Number one was basically a Mario clone, like set in a in a Wonder Boy setting. It even ends, if you watch the, the this isn't a spoiler, because if you watch the beginning sequence to Aaron 2, or Aaron, we're just going to call him Aaron, it's more casual. Yeah. Um, the Aaron 2, it, it gives you that whole um, catch-up sequence. Yeah, like a minute and a half of glowing text yeah, telling you what so, happened. Yeah, so taking down your time trial. Yeah. Which I think you can bust out of just by pressing the D-pad. Yeah, somewhere. I think you can give it to. Yeah. So. But they have you, number one, they have you jumping on people's heads, and you can gain the ability to to fire things, you know, fire a projectile, kind of like a fireball. But the first one, they don't class it, they classify as a fun action platformer. The second one, number two, they classify as an RPG-style platformer. I digress. Um, in, number one, in number two, they give you the catch-up sequence, and at the end of it, Aaron, Aaron ends up in his own bed and wonders if it's all just a dream. So, you know, Super Mario 2. Pretty much. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a blatant ripoff, and all of the text is really badly translated into English. So I'm wondering if this isn't like a Japanese game. <laughs> Possibly, it does have that look since it's like that 2D like Super Nintendo look to it. Yeah. Well, apparently they have another game out called like Wee Wee's Adventures. <laughs> Oh, we might add that to lip on that time. Yeah, Wee Wee's Adventures in Sausage Land. That that's not out for the Wii. Go Just Figgle. The 360. That's yeah, rated M for meat. Yeah, no, it's um, like I said, number one is more of a Super Mario or a Mario Brothers uh, type game where you jump on people's heads. Number two is I made it past the first boss and probably another five minutes or whatever. Um, five or six screens after that, and it seems more like a um. Wonder Boy Adventures in Monsterland, where like you'll go one way, but you can't get there because you don't have the power up. But so then you've got to go back the other way, figure out where your power up is, talk to certain people. So it's more like an RPG. And also, you can buy items, boost your yeah. health, weapon, and you will talk to NPC, and they will ask you to do things for them, give you a little missions. Yeah, from that crazy rabbit ninja that tries to yeah, my opinion, pay you seen too much. Yeah, it seemed like you want to con everyone. Cause one NPC I talked to was talking about how he should mock down and price it, and I need to talk him into yeah. it. Yeah, can you talk him into it? Like, so am I supposed to kill him or give him a blowjob? Like, which is, I mean, yeah. He is a ninja person. bunny, so he might want yeah. something else. Yeah, Aaron does look pretty androgynous. Exactly. The actual gameplay from outside all PG nets and uh, the platforming, I don't know about you, but it seemed the platforming wasn't that bot on. It it's seemed quick. way Yeah, it, it's the queen go really quickly, unlike Sonic. But <laughs> but sadly, the platforming is not all that great. Cause many times I was missing platform by like quarter of an inch because I didn't jump wide or... I thought well, yeah. I was going to over jump and wasn't. I would like to see how this played with uh, with my PDP fight pad. Because it seems like the controls, even though they are, even if you use an analog stick, it seems like they're digital. Like it's, it's like you press right or left and you're full on, no, like it's, you're full on no matter how hard you press. And it seems like it, like you, Aaron seems like he's skating, like you're, there's really no friction between the character and the ground. Exactly. So there's no, there's no, like, you know, Mario, you've got that, that first few steps that's like a start up before you run. Aaron is just like, stop, run, stop, run. Yeah, like no middle ground and no at all. Yeah. And the same thing when you get in vehicles. Yeah. As I found out. Yeah, I mean, I, for three dollars, like I said, this was 240 points. Three dollars, I don't think I'd pay for it. If it was 80 points, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it seemed like a very interesting concept doing an RPG with platform or set more in like the NES and Super NES era. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I would consider this more of a Genesis type game. I could see that. Like that that RPG adventure style. I I wouldn't pay the money for Aaron One, like especially since they caught you up in Aaron Two. <laughs> <laughs> But Aaron 2 seems like a more a more fun kind of uh, genre or or game because it has that RPG, it has that adventure style in it that you know. I mean, I I played I played Wonder Boy 
Adventures in Monsterland, you know, repeatedly. I fucking love that game because I loved like getting different costumes, getting different swords, and all that kind of stuff, so I could go to different places. And I think this, I would like to read somebody else's review on this. And to see if that's what kind of game it actually is. Yeah, it seemed like it would be, since I don't know if you went into this or not. But starting out, I seem a little confused on where I have to go, since I can go so many places, except for the yeah. one behind lock. Kind of like Wonder Boy. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, if, if it's that kind of game, you know, I, I might pay $3 for it. I'll have to do my, my research and check other people's reviews and see if that's what it is. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, can't really see how most stuff's going to pan out in, what, like a 10, 20-minute demo time you get on indie games? Yeah, you get like eight minutes, I think, yeah. on this one. Yeah, that and seems about what. Yeah, eight minutes is, I mean, by the time you talk to people and try and figure out where you're going... You we really, need that intro. Yeah, it really, yeah, it really doesn't give you a lot of time, so... Um, Unless you play through it multiple times and just run past people, which is what I did the second time. Um, I just kind of ran past people and didn't care. I just want to see what was going on. 240 points. If you really like Genesis-style action or action RPG or adventure RPG games, I'd say it's worth your time. For 80 points, if they drop it down, which they probably won't since Aaron 2 is still 240 points. And I don't usually drop down indie games really at all. Uh, they did with uh, Tick or TIC or whatever you want to call it. It dropped down from 240 to 80. Like a permanent drop, not just yeah. a sale. 